Hi, we're here in A&R Solar's Seattle warehouse, um, giving you a test drive of Tesla's Powerwall system. Um, we installed this about a year ago. Since then, we've installed about 300 of them. Um, they have been very popular for providing backup power. Each Tesla Powerwall contains 13 half kilowatt hours of stored energy. That's enough to run an average home for somewhere between four and 12 hours. If you have solar uh, production, that will extend it. Um, it provides five kilowatts of continuous power, up to seven kilowatts for 10 seconds. Um, it is an all-in-one uh, battery and battery inverter, so the bottom two-thirds are the battery. The top one-third is the battery inverter the battery management system, and a small cooling system. Essentially zero maintenance. Um, just want to make sure vents on the top left are free of uh, dust, dirt, debris. Um, other than that, um, you look at the mobile app just to see if everything's OK. And uh, that's about all the maintenance there is. There's really no moving parts in the power wall, with exception of a small little pump to keep it cool if it gets really hot out or if it's under heavy load. You can see off to the right, there's an LED that shows whether it's charging, discharging, or in standby. And right now we are charging. We discharged a little bit. We're doing some, some tests up and down and discharged it so we could show what it looks like while it's discharging. You see two other boxes here on the wall. This one here is the Tesla backup gateway. This is a 200 amp rated transfer switch. So this has all the switch gear, the metering, uh, the monitoring, the uh, communication to the power wall system. This is really the brains of the system. The power wall itself is really a, uh, um, is just really just the battery. Um, we installed this and we're protecting some of our key circuits here in our office, which include our internet, communications, refrigeration, uh, printing and a couple key computers and outlets and lights so that uh, when there is an outage um, we can continue working. A lot of us have laptops so as long as we have internet we usually can keep right on working. So you can see right now we are on the grid and we're charging. Solar is uh, providing power, um, meeting um, most of our loads, yeah, all of our loads, and uh, charging the power wall. So the grid is um, really not doing a whole lot right now for this part of our office. I'm going to go ahead and ask somebody to go ahead and kill the power for this, uh, this part of uh, the building. So there's a little bit of a delay you can here. I think we might have already happened. So when it detects a power failure, the backup gateway, you can see there, automatically disconnects this from the grid because it sees it's having problems and continues to keep solar working. So you can see um, we're generating more than we're using and we're using the excess to charge the battery. So we could go all day like this and probably have the battery fully charged um, within a couple hours and then we'd continue to run from solar. Um, and then in the evening when the sun went down, we'd run only from the battery. It's pretty neat, completely automatic, zero maintenance, 26% federal tax credit if you get it installed by the end of the year. It is pretty popular. We're installing a lot of them. Now I'm going to ask him to go ahead and bring it back on the grid. And you should hear uh, another click. Well, actually, we won't hear a click. Um, it takes five minutes. Um, we actually asked Tesla and other vendors, don't just bring it right back on the grid. Um, because sometimes when there's an outage, it goes up and down, up and down. So don't, uh, don't constantly be clicking on and off, on and off, on and off. So there is a five minute delay before it reconnects to the grid. Um, and then you'll get a notification of that as well. 
and my watch is buzzing right now so I also got notifications on my watch and that lets me know even if I don't have my phone out that uh, something's going on so I got several notifications that's it for our uh, quick look at test drive of the Tesla Powerwall here with ANR Solar in our Seattle office.